Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I have prepared two multiple choice questions for you. And the first question is what is the strain of avian flu that can uh, mutate to spread from birds to humans? And if you would take a look at this picture you would see that uh, not only humans can get uh, flu but a number of different animals. Some of them domesticated animals like pigs and birds or cats and some of them and cattle and some of them uh, wild animals. But uh, as you see most of the uh, variants of strains we can find in wild uh, birds and wild ducks and uh, wild ducks considered to be a reservoir for this virus and all the rest animals uh, got this virus from wild birds. First of all, of course, there's going to be uh, domesticated uh, birds uh, such as chicken and uh, chickens usually also live uh, closely with other uh, animals like pigs. So pigs also can get it from uh, chickens and we also can get uh, some strains of the virus from these domesticated animals and some of the uh, viruses that we got uh, caused pandemics in 20th century for example H1N1 uh, we got from uh, pigs and uh, it is also known as uh, Spanish flu that caused pandemics in 1918 and we also can find here uh, for example H3 and 2 and here also we can find uh, that it is also uh, swine flu uh, also it has a name uh, Hong Kong uh, flu and uh, another uh, variant of the virus strain H5 and 1 we got from birds and it's called uh, bird flu and uh, other animals uh, like pigs also have this virus but we call this uh, bird virus uh, or uh, avian uh, flu because uh, birds are a reservoir for this virus so uh, the correct answer is answer C and now we can move to the second question in Vietnam, how did most people contract the avian flu? Answer A. Uh, by handling eating uh, infected cooked bird. And this is partly true, uh, but only partly because um, actually this virus uh, can be killed by cooking. Uh, and it's going to be killed uh, if you would keep the food uh, just for a few minutes over 70 degrees of Celsius. And uh, normally we cook at much higher temperatures, that is hundreds of degrees of Celsius. So, as you see, uh, you can get it only uh, through the food, uh, only if it is undercooked. And uh, answer B from from being in close contact with an affected bird, uh, this is uh, correct answer because uh, most of the infections that were spread from birds to humans were through the direct contact uh, in villages where people live uh, along with these birds. And answer C from another infected person, it also can be considered a correct answer. Uh, because uh, few cases have been registered when uh, this strain of virus H5N1 uh, have been uh, transferred from one infected person to another unaffected person, but uh, this is not an uh, effective way for uh, spreading of this virus because uh, most of the cases were um, spreading of this virus from birds to humans and if this virus would be able to spread easily from humans to humans 
we would face much more serious situation because this virus is very deadly. About 50% of the people who got this virus died. So only uh, because uh, most of the cases that have been registered were cases when it was directly uh, spread from birds to humans, limited uh, spreading of this virus. And um, also ANCD from the air, it is airborne disease. Uh, yes, this is um, virus spread uh, usually through the air, but uh, when we have a direct contact, if there is no direct contact, this virus doesn't live long uh, outside the host. So uh, we have to eliminate this answer. And as you see, the correct answer is answer B from being in close contact with an affected bird. This is going to be an answer to this question. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video. Goodbye.